How many calories do you guys need to take in order to build muscle effectively on a plant-based diet? We're going to dive into that today, and I'm also going to show you my secret, my key secret I'm going to show you guys at the very end, which I'm going to tell you guys how I break up my calories personally, and that's really going to help you guys out when it comes to building muscle and burning fat. I'm also going to let you guys know different types of foods you should try to incorporate when it comes to building muscle on a plant-based diet, because you know your boy's got you covered. Now listen... Welcome to the family. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys like awesome vegan food reviews, we do a lot of those. I also do great motivation talks to help empower your mind and take it to the next level. Let's just dive into this one, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Let's keep it going. Welcome to the family. Calories are the energy that your body is going to use to build muscle off of. A lot of people are in too much of a calorie deficit to build muscle. And the number one thing I notice when people are moving over from a meat diet to a plant-based diet is they're not understanding the calories that they're, they've removed from their diet by switching over to plant-based. Let's say a chicken breast is 120 calories. Let's say you're eating salmon that's maybe 150 calories per filet. Now, if you are eating that twice a day, then you easily have a little over 200 calories now that 200 calories adds up over seven days because a lot of times it's the consistency that will either get you results or not get you results so if you're someone who has a little over 200 calories now all of a sudden a day and you're getting rid of that throughout the week and you're not replacing that with a good plant-based foods that also have good protein then your calories are gonna be super low if you add up two times seven over there we've got 1400 calories a week that you could potentially be missing out on because you haven't replaced what you got rid of if you're trans transitioning from a meat diet. Now, one way for you to calculate your calories very easy, I want you to take your body weight and I want you to multiply it by 14 and then add 500 to 700 calories. Add 200 extra calories on a plant-based diet just to make up for any buffer that might happen when you're switching over from a meat diet. So you're gonna take your weight, multiply it by 14 and then add 500 to 700 calories to that. That's gonna put you in a caloric surplus. Now, somebody who increases their calories and doesn't work out, just gonna get fat and sloppy. So do not do that. You wanna make sure if you're gonna increase your calories that you are also working out and training hard. So now that you know how to have your calories, a simple formula, it doesn't have to be nothing crazy. This shit doesn't have to be grade six algebra all over again. And even though I'm not a grade six anymore, if you were to throw grade six algebra at me, I have no idea what the fuck I was doing. I'm just being honest with you guys. So if we're diving right in, keep it very simple. Now we're gonna move on to the next thing. Now that you got your calories in, where should your calories come from? Now you wanna focus on getting calories from a lot of whole food sources. Whole food sources like beans, wild rice. White rice is great as well. If you combine white rice and wild rice, especially after a workout, post-workout is great because that white rice is going to send a signal to your body to release insulin a little faster. It's almost like having fruit after a workout. That's gonna open up your cells, rush the nutrients into your cells. Now, on top of things like wild rice, white rice, beans, you can get your dark leafy greens in, but you don't wanna over consume dark leafy greens if you have a lot of calories to hit because that's gonna make you feel super full. So what you wanna do is get just enough here and there and you can also supplement with a food like a super green to help you get those greens in so you just don't feel over full, if, especially if you have 3,500 3, calories to hit, but you're getting too full before you hit that 3,500, it's gonna be extremely difficult. So you can get a supplement like a super green and then you can get a lot of your, your whole foods up like your white rices, your beads, even having a power shake. I call it a power shake can really help you get your calories up as well. Now in your power shake, you wanna add things like MCT oil, uh, it's tasteless and it's a healthy fat that's really gonna help you get energy but also boost your calories called MCT oil. Now you can also add things like your bananas, oats, peanut butter in there and then you want to add a protein powder now i like to use a mass gainer that mass gainer is by iron vegan and that helps me really boost my calories on days that i want to hit a 1200 to a 1500 calorie shake this is the blueprint for you to do it so now you guys have an easy way of adding in your calories but through shakes but also through the whole foods that you eat now there's nothing now there's nothing wrong either with going out every now and then and going to the store and grabbing something like a beyond meat burger now Consistency once you do over time is the most important thing. If you're eating Beyond Meat burgers every day, there's gonna be a problem, but mock foods can help you to increase your calories extremely, uh, in a very easy, efficient way because they pack a lot more calories than having something like rice, veggies, 
Um, beans, for example, is going to be a lot tougher. Chickpeas is going to be tougher. So every now and then, adding in some mock meat, like a Beyond Meat burger with a whole grain bread, can really help you out, help you to get your nutrients as well. But you don't want to overdo it. Balance is key. And so one of the formulas that I use just to help you guys out at the end that really helps me out is I'll take about 70%, 60 to 70% of the meals that I eat are clean, to whereas 30% might be something like a Beyond Meat, and I add that in. Now, this formula is great because it's really gonna help you out in terms of finding what works best for you. Somebody that needs to really detoxify the body and really help to boost their health might wanna go for 80% to 20%. But at the end of the day, you always need to take a look at yourself, see how it is that you feel with what you're eating, and then go from there. All right, so you're your best judge, you're intuitive with your body, so then you'll know what type of calories are empowering your body and what type of calories are limiting your body's ability to empower itself and heal itself, all right? Simple tips. I hope that helps you guys out. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. It's your boy, Jason Crystal. Fuck, you guys know I got your back. Let's go.